In this video, I'm gonna share with you the secret to exporting high quality video in Premiere Pro 2024. Here inside Premiere Pro, I'm gonna go down here to new item, sequence, and then I'm going to go up here to HD 1080p, and I'm gonna select 1080p 23.976 frames per second, because that's what I shot my video at. You can select whichever one is specific to you, and then click okay. Then I'm gonna click and drag my clip onto the timeline. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm already done editing this video and I'm now ready to export. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the playhead to the very beginning and press I on the keyboard to set an end point. And then I'm gonna to go to the very end of my video and press O on the keyboard to select an out point. And that's just going to tell Premiere the section on the timeline that I want to export. Then I'm gonna go up here to the export tab. The first thing you wanna do is go up to file name and then change this to whatever you want it to be. And then under location, we're just gonna click here and select the location that we want the file to be saved to. Then just click save. And then for preset, we're just gonna bypass this because it's gonna change to custom anyways. And for format, we're going to change this to H.264. Then under video, we wanna make sure that this is turned on. And then we're gonna drop down this video tab. And for frame size, we want this to be set to 1920 by 1080. If it's not, you can manually change this by unchecking the box, clicking on the drop down and go into custom, and then clicking on this lock here to unlock it, and you can manually change it to 1920 by 1080. You can also do this by simply clicking on match source. Now for frame rate, we can change this to whatever frame rate we want the video to be exported at. For me, I just want 23.976, so I'm gonna leave it at that and recheck the box. Build order should be set to progressive and aspect should be set to square pixels 1.0. Then I'm gonna go down here and click more. I wanna make sure that the box for render at maximum depth is checked. And then I also wanna check the box for use maximum render quality. Then I'm gonna go down here to the encoding settings and the encoding settings are gonna have a huge impact on how fast your video actually exports. So we have hardware encoding and software encoding. And hardware encoding is when your computer utilizes available hardware for quicker encoding. And so the difference between the two is really the strength in your GPU. If you have a strong enough GPU, you'll be able to take advantage of hardware encoding. If you don't have a strong enough GPU, you're gonna to have to utilize software encoding. Profile should be set to high and level should be set to 4.2. Then I'm gonna scroll down here to bitrate settings and bitrate settings are really what's going to affect your overall file size. And so the first option that we have is CBR, which stands for constant bitrate. And this just means that the bitrate is gonna remain constant throughout the entire export process. The other options that you have are VBR one pass and VBR two pass. And VBR just stands for variable bit rate. And the difference between one pass and two pass are the number of passes that Premiere does assessing those areas in your video that require more bit rate. Starting with constant bit rate, this is going to give you the highest quality video possible. So I like to change this to 62.5. That way I ensure that I'm getting the highest quality video possible. The downside to this is that it increases the estimated file size significantly. So here's my secret. Instead of selecting CBR, I'm gonna select VBR one pass and then change the target bit rate to 30. Notice how the file size was cut in half and we're still gonna have amazingly high quality. Now, if you opted for software encoding, you can select VBR two pass, but in my experience, I've seen little to no difference. The only difference I've seen is that VBR two pass takes a lot longer. Then go down here to the audio tab and make sure this is turned on so that the audio exports with the video and then drop down the audio tab. For audio format, make sure that's set to AAC. Audio codec should be set to AAC as well. Sample rate should be set to 48,000 Hertz. Channels should be set to stereo and then change bit rate to 320. Now, instead of having to go through this process with every single video, let me show you how you can save yourself a ton of time. All you're gonna do is go up here to these three dots, select save preset and go ahead and name your preset and then press okay. Then the next time you go to export a video, you can just go to your preset dropdown and select your preset and that's going to automatically apply those settings. And then just click export.